Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. Over the next few videos, we're going to take a look at the difference between projects and groups. Today we're going to explain the difference and we're going to create a project. Pretty simple, but it is an important workflow that you should know about because it can be helpful, particularly for business applications. We're going to open up Capture One and we're going to be in the library tool tab. and. If we take a look here, we have the catalog collections, which are the collections of images that Capture One creates for us, which is why there's no plus or minus. We cannot alter these. Next, you have user collections, which is the collection of images that you have control over. And lastly, as we've explored before, folders are where the images are physically located. So if we take a look at user collections, we know that inside of this plus menu, we can create albums, smart albums, projects, or groups. Now. An album is just a collection of images that you manually populate by dragging and dropping images into it. A smart album auto-populates with images based on a rule or rules set that you create. And then you can just run with straight albums and smart albums. You can. Uh, but if you're like me, you have many, many albums and smart albums, and it might be difficult to scroll through and find what you want. So instead, grouping albums and smart albums together so that you can easily find something is going to be useful. I have three for my business, and I have ones for family and friends, and I have ones that help me just find images based on rules, such as if they are a particular aperture or a particular ISO. Now, these collections of albums are called groups. You create a group and then you can pull albums and smart albums into that group for organization. And most people just stop there. So what the heck is a project? We're gonna click on uh, plus and we're going to do a test project. We're gonna click okay. And now, we should have a test project. What you're gonna notice is that the icon for it is different. We have this little folder when we have a group, but for a project, we have this thing that almost kind of looks like either a bin for folders or maybe a trash bin. It's not trash, don't worry. And this, we can still populate with albums and smart albums. You just can't put a project inside another project. What is the difference? Here's it, here it is. Whereas the images that are inside of a album, a smart album that are within a group, have access to all of the images within your catalog. The albums and smart albums that are within a project only have access to the images that are within that project. So if you have a particular workflow of images for a client, for a particular job, and you want to make sure that you're not accidentally using images that you don't, that you shouldn't have access to, that aren't part of that job, that you have some kind of copyright protection around, this is a way to make sure that you only use the appropriate images. And in some ways, it's like having a session that is built within a catalog. So that's what a project is, and that's how you create it. In later videos, we will populate this with images and show how we don't have access to certain images. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.